and you can't hate your way to happiness. You can never hate your like thank you. You can never hate yourself so much that you will now initiate long lasting change. What's the one piece of advice that you would give to all the women out there who are battling with their body image and with their relationship with food? Mm, I think number one thing would be to know that you're actually okay exactly as you are. You don't need to torture yourself, restrict, deprive, count calories, macros, points, anything like that to try and become someone that you were never meant to be. Does that mean that you need to put up with and accept a body now that you're not entirely comfortable in? No, not at all. It just simply means that there are ways to get there that um, are not going to hurt you and torture you, you know, mentally and physically long term. Um, as I talk about, you know, in the boot camp with the girls, yeah, the, the average weight loss with girls that I work with is, you know, depending on how much weight they have to lose, it's anywhere between 5 kilos and 25 kilos over, you know, as, as little as a short week. Um, six week short period but you know so yes weight loss is possible I just think it's very important to understand that trying to restrict and you can't hate your way to happiness you can never hate your like a, thank you you can never hate yourself so much that you will now initiate long lasting change looking in the bathroom mirror and despising what you see is not going to um, bring about any kind of love and permanent change. It, it, the game, as we said earlier, it starts in the mind. The weight loss will come once you deal with the, in, the external changes once we work with, on the internal. The external, it all melts away once we look at the internal. That's the shift, that's the difference, and that's what I think is really important. <laughs>